are back here yeah, for the Open Female Final. Lane one for E. Krypton about to kick off here. Yeah. Our current leaders. And off they go. Lane number two, Moet Fuluet. Twenty minutes away from seeing your battle 2023 champions. In lane three, Samson Lionesses. They are currently in third. They want to hang on to a podium spot. Taking on some regular faces here. Some veterans. Samson Lioness is one of the newer teams here. You can see that lead there at the moment. The separation between first and second wasn't too much, but that separation from second to third is quite a few seconds at the moment. Will it be enough? And off they go, Samson, Lionesses, as well as Inner Fight Pride in lane four. Those are the current teams. They're going to be battling it out for third place at the moment. Obviously battling it out for that gold position is lane one and lane two. That is uh, Krypton as well as Moet In lane five, we have CFA Shorties. They've just been released out of their gate. And next up, we have uh, Pure Jam. One more team to come onto the floor, and that will be 10 star Sweet Potatoes. And off they go. So all seven teams are now onto the floor. But I think it's going to be a close one. We're going to keep an eye on lane one and two between uh, 4E Krypton as well as Muert Fuluet. You can see uh, lane one, they've already made their way over to the cardio section. As well as lane two, Muert Fuluet. And yeah, your team, team's up. Remember, once you are on that cardio machine, you stay on that cardio machine. So if one athlete, athlete one takes the rower, athlete two takes the runner, athlete three takes the uh, assault bike, they will stay there until they get their 30 calories. Sorry, 40 calories for the opens. So they are looking for 40 calories. Jess Skinner on your screen now, looking nice and relaxed there. Decent running style. I know uh, she's joined me for a couple of running sessions. Myself, Ruan and uh, Tristan, we used to head out to Reimser Stadium and I used to uh, put them to the test there with some interval training. And Leonie's team, remember she was a last edition here as uh, the night before one of her, her teammates had to pull out. And it looks like Leonie will take on the run here. That is 10 star sweet potatoes in lane number seven. And then uh, Pure Jam, CFA Shorties, Inner Fight Pride, our Samson Lionesses in third at the moment. Moet Fuluet, and then of course, our lane at number one ladies are ready. Krypton are off to their next set of uh, buy ins. You're only here on your screen. Very, very capable athlete.
As we see all these athletes just fighting away, chipping away at those calories. Some smiles there on their faces. It's always good to see, especially in a final. And uh, yeah, we get uh, some of the atmosphere. Cheers and high fives and waves. Everyone excited. And of course, a lot of Boca jerseys out there. Remember, we got our opening game this weekend against Scotland. Been a lot of talk about Scotland walking away with a win against us. Let us know in the comments your thoughts. Who do you think is going to walk away with a win? The Boca or the Scots? Honestly, my money is always going to be with uh, the Boca. I just feel like we're way too strong. Let's yeah, back to the action. Lane one, already onto those 30 air squats. Lane two, onto their burpee over line. And you can see, yeah, all the athletes in the background, a lot of athletes, you can see the Samson Lionesses as well as Inner Fight Pride. They got their own little battle happening at the moment for that third and fourth. However, let's not count them out. We still got those cleaner jerks to come and uh, maybe we see a little mix up and a change up there. And speaking about those cleaner jerks, you got uh, a very, very strong team, but do they have the technique is the question for uh, the, uh, the worm sandbag clean. And that answers my question, yes. And here comes Megan. Absolute powerhouse. She'll have no issues. Jess Skinner also, a couple of months back, she had a, uh, I believe it was a rotor cuff uh, surgery, a shoulder surgery. So she's actually, I think this is only her second comp back. And uh, here she is in uh, first place with her team. Krypton in lane number one. Here comes second place, Murtfulut. They are currently in that number two spot. They're about, I would say, not 100% sure, I could be mistaken on this, but they are about six reps behind. And in terms of the sandbag cleans, that's quite a gap. Just because it does take a fair amount of time just to complete one rep. Let's take a look here. We'll look at Mort Fluit now at the 30 second mark. So five seconds to complete a rep. So you must understand that they are doing 30 of those. And it looks like Samson Lionesses are now in that third position. These ladies are quite strong. However, that bag it pretty much weighs as much as they do. They are one of the smaller teams here. But as I said, they are strong and they are more than capable. Uh, it's Rachel, Bianca and Jenna in the background. Murtfulut, Janine in the front there. Very, very capable athlete. A couple of years back, uh, she competed in one of my competitions where we uh, introduced endurance with CrossFit. So basically a bunch of endurance events with uh, some CrossFit movements. And uh, she did exceptionally well. If I remember correctly, I think she she came second. So very, very capable. She has the tank in her. And you can see there, the Samson Lionesses, they were just struggling a bit there. Bit of miscommunication. Word for alert there. That is the lady in the holding pen. She's waiting and watching on. Cross it uncontained. It's going to be very, very interesting to see how much of a lead does Krypton have. As we uh, get back to our third and fourth teams here at the moment this is the way the money is at the moment in terms of how close it is between these two teams to hang on to or get a gold medal uh, not a gold medal a bronze medal and then uh, we're gonna jump back to the leaders 
You see Moet Fluit as well as Krypton. They are both on those buy-ins now. And this is going to be very interesting to see what type of uh, lead does Krypton have, if any at all. They're cycling about at the same speed at the moment. All right, let's count there. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23. So they've got a 23 rep lead at the moment. So that's fairly healthy over Moet um, Fulert. Back to our third and fourth positions here. They are still battling it out on those uh, cleaner jerks with the worm. You can see there our uh, inner fight pride drop in the bag there. And that would most likely be a no rep for them. And Moet Fulert. They are going to fight hard. Remember, they're not out of this. There's still plenty of time on the clock here to uh, get it back into this. And it all depends on which station each team or the each team is more comfortable with. So I would assume that uh, with the, the ladies here, they will have a better chance on uh, those pullovers than Krypton. We'll have a look now and see. And our third and fourth ladies, they are still battling it out. And remember, these ladies are a lot smaller than they most likely only way. And look at that. Can you believe it? In a fight, Pride, they have made their way into that uh, bronze position. They're going to look to hold on to that for the next eight minutes. But here comes Sanson Lionesses. They are one rep behind. Make that two reps behind. That is... Uh, more than enough for them to make up. They will, they will most likely be wanting that, hunting that down. With uh, only two reps in front, they know they can most likely get there. And uh, he is... You can see these two teams battling it out. It's going to come down to who wants it the most. Very exciting race between the third and fourth positions. But let's not forget, we do have those uh, ladies in one and two at the moment. And it looks like Moet Fulert, they are struggling a little bit with those pullovers. Remember, Jess, she's there on the right-hand side in the black. She can hang on to that position that she's in now. As long as Megan meets her at the top, that will be a synced rep. As you can see, Moet Fulert get in a synced rep there now. Janine can now wait, and Janine waits at the top. Boom, synced rep, and that's exactly what they want. Remember, they need a lockout at the bottom, at the top. And neck and neck, you would swear all of them are in a team together as they are sinking at the same time. But it looks like cycling just a little bit faster right now is the Samson Fitness ladies. And the Samson Lady Fitness, they are flying right now. And I think they might have just snuck into that uh, third position. As we see our lower teams there at the moment in seventh, 10 star sweet potatoes. We see pure jams there, but at the moment, let's see what happens here with the snatches. Jess Skinner still waiting on top there for her teammate. And this is quite mentally taxing on all these athletes as well, especially when it's so close. You have 
uh, Krypton and Wordfluid going neck and neck for the gold position. And then you have Samson Lion Nesses as well as Inner Fight Pride also going neck and neck. And mentally that starts taking fatigue because you start thinking to yourself, why can't I just get rid of this team? And it becomes a big mental battle. And sometimes the, the weaker minded team will actually lose that fight because their bodies start giving out and they don't allow themselves to push into uh, that bronze or gold medal position. So it's going to come down to who has the strongest mind here between these teams because physically I do believe they are very equally matched. You can see Jenna waiting at the top there for Rachel. Rachel gets up and once again that's a synced rep at the top. Now Rachel waits, Jenna waits and they get the reps while at on the other end there in a fight pride it looked like they were struggling just a bit with those pullovers. And now we see first, second, third and fourth all on the bars with those pullovers what great scenes we have here at monte casino and uh, megan fighting her way to the top janine hanging on waiting for her teammate janine and uncontained they get a rep samson lionesses now move into that third spot they are about four reps ahead of inner pride at the moment inner fight pride This final is getting heated at the moment. And it's going to be very, very interesting to see who gets off station number three. And I do believe Mordfluid as well as Krypton are one round ahead on station three at the moment of Samson Lionesses. In a fight pride, they have dropped off the pace just a little bit here. As we see the Samson Lionesses. And watch again, watch how Rachel pushes her hips away. She's in the middle there at the moment. She pushes her hips away and then flies over that bar. Mood full of it on your screens now. CrossFit uncontained. They are looking for that gold medal. They won it. They are chasing down 4E Krypton. Will they catch Krypton in the final two and a half minutes here? As we see in lane number one, they are on their snatches. I do think this is the final round. So I do think maybe Mordfluid have actually snuck into the lead here. I think they are now your new leaders. So uh, one of our cameramen says uh, Lionesses possibly might be uh, in the lead. I do think they were around behind. And I was correct. So Lionesses have just caught up now with lane one, lane two, and lane three. So the Lionesses have caught up to lane one and lane two, Krypton and Mordfluid. So Samson Lionesses have put themselves in a position where they could get a gold if they get off here. They got 60 seconds left on the clock. And uh, the ladies from Krypton have slowed down to an absolute dead halt. And look at that. The Samson Lionesses have gone into the lead. They are your new leaders. They are in the final buy-in. They could win themselves gold here at the battle. 40 seconds left on the clock and now it's going to come down to how much do they want this can they stay in that pain cave as we look at wood for it and a krypton absolutely devastated 
25 seconds left. This is unbelievable scenes here. There's their coach, Ruan, screaming them on. Ten seconds remaining, and it looks like the Samson Lionesses will walk away here as your battle 2023 champions, powered by Puma. Can you believe it? Winner takes all. Samson Lionesses walk away with the gold medal. They took on the veterans. This team has come so far. You have a team here who Jenna, not a couple of months ago, could not do handstand walks. Bianca, a couple of months ago, could not even do a 60 kg snatch. And here they are as your champions. They've come so, so far. Samson Lionesses are your champions here at the battle 2023. And what great work there. And man, it was a battle. It looked like uh, it was just a battle between Krypton and Muert Fuluet. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Samson Lionesses, those pullovers, changed the game completely as their pullovers got them into the lead. And man, what a finish that was. It looks like Muert Fuluet got second, and then in third, it was uh, Krypton. So those are your unofficial results. And what a story it was here at the battle. We hope you enjoyed the coverage and we look forward to seeing you at the next one. My name is Jason Viking Friedman for It's Happening.Africa and I'll be checking you at the next one. Peace out.